Hi guys, I really want to get on and build these carbonate catapult gliders by J&H Aerospace. I've got two here, I've got the carbonate 8 and the carbonate 12. And they should only take a matter of minutes to build. But every time I think I'm going to get on and build them, something else comes up and I get diverted. Here's a good example. This is another J&H Aerospace glider. Uh, this is the Alida or Alida. And I keep breaking it. And today I took it out and gave it a little fly and I broke it again. I keep breaking it and I keep repairing it and it was in a real state. Um, I'd repaired it so many times the fuselage was quite twisted. So I think what I might do this time is replace the fuselage because the wings are fine and the tail's fine. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the tail off of the fuselage. I have to see what I can do. But if I can, then I'll make myself a new fuselage from this, which is actually uh, basswood, which is much harder than balsa wood and heavier as well. But I did do a replacement for this using this, which I then promptly lost in a tree. So because this one broke today, I might, um, as I say, transfer the wings and the tail onto a new fuselage. But before I do that, I'm going to build one of these. And this is a real tease what I'm doing for you at the moment, because I'm not going to do a build video. I want you to watch J&H Aerospace's own build video for it which will be far more detailed than anything that I do. So I might film myself doing it, but it won't be a how-to. It will just be fast forward and so you can see what I've actually done. The first thing I've got to do is, I've watched this video, is take the wing out, clean it up a bit, and then I've got to wet. There's a little bit of basswood in there, a tiny thin piece. There it is, that piece, which I need to super glue along the leading edge. And I hate super glue, but that's how he tells you to do it. So I need to go and wet that first so it bends nicely. And then super glue it along the leading edge. And then uh, shape that to an airfoil. Now, I don't have a razor plane. I used to have one when I used to do model aeroplanes as a youngster, but that's long gone. That's 40 or 50 years ago. So I probably have to sand it down. Ooh. That's the fuselage. I hadn't noticed that when I looked at the pack originally. It's got quite a bow on it. Mm.
Mm, yeah. It's like a fish. Oh. And it's not very strong either. That's a good start. I haven't even made it yet. I've just gone and broken it. That's a lot softer than I expected it to be. Oh well. <laughs> we'll glue that back together and get on. Well, I was going to sand down that fuselage a little bit towards the end to lighten it. But in view of how soft that is and how it's already curved, I'm not going to do that. What I have done is I've put a layer of super glue along it and I'm just holding it, pressing it, so I'm trying to get it to curve itself or straighten itself as the glue dries. That was a surprise that that should break. So I was expecting that to be rock hard, but it wasn't. It was relatively soft. Right, if anything, I've, I think I've straightened it up. I've got a tiny bit of a curve at the end there where it was broken. Looks a little bit straighter. I'm going to leave that for a few minutes. A bit of weight on the front. Just to see if we can get it to the glue to dry and for it to straighten up. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.